Hey, how is group going? Are you guys working out your attitudes together? I love this week's title, uh, More Male Models. Um, uh, kind, of a, kind of a weird title, but you think about our culture. Our culture is pretty obsessed with looks. And, um, you know, you've heard someone say, oh, he's so good looking, he could be a model. Um, I think it's interesting. I, I kind of laugh a bit about the whole idea of, of modeling. I, it's cool, right? I mean, someone's got to be out there looking good. But where did they get that? I mean, is it is there is the talent in in the modeling, or uh, is the talent covered up by the looks? I, I'm not sure. Uh, you think about you, there's pretty skill in that. You've got to you got to look good. You got to shake what your mama gave you, right? <laughs> so I'm thankful for beautiful people. But when we talk about male models, really, what I'm talking about is what you find in chapter two of your text this week. The interesting thing about the book of Philippians, it has three kind of purposes about it. One was it was instructional. And the instructions, I believe, are all kind of focused around us taking on this attitude of Christ. So it had an instructional purpose. It also was like a thank you letter. Um, we're going to see at the end of the book of Philippians a pretty strong message from the Apostle Paul saying, thank you for your support. No other church gave to me when I was in need. So the Philippian church were giving significantly and generously to Paul's ministry. So it was a thank you letter, an instructional letter. And thirdly, it was um, like a letter of reference. Paul was sending the Philippians two individuals uh, with this document. One was Timothy, the other Epaphroditus. Both men he raises up in chapter two as, I think, wonderful, stellar male models. All kinds of characteristics kind of come out in his comments about them. But I think what part of what Paul did was kind of help us to recognize that we need more men like Timothy and Epaphroditus. We need more men that have character that, that goes deeper than just externals. Someone has said that beauty is only skin deep, but ugly goes clear to the bone. <laughs> it's kind of like character. Right. Character isn't skin deep. Character goes clear to the bone. Timothy and Epaphroditus were individuals that Paul said, be like these guys. We're going to see in chapter 3, verse 17, he, he literally tells us, follow my example and uh, be aware of those who follow the pattern we gave you. There's a strong emphasis in this little book about finding a model, someone that can illustrate compassion and courage, um, the kind of skills and abilities, the kind of character and attitude that's worth emulating. So as you look at the material this week in your group, think about yourself. Maybe you are a wonderful, wonderful candidate to be a male or a female model to show not what is on the outside, but more importantly, what's on the inside. Have a good study. Thank you.